You're watching Chewing the Cut with Mike Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. I almost gagged. Yeah. Well, hello. Before we start, Lee, have you made those macrame pot holders I asked you for? I think you'll find it's macrame. Macrame? Macrame. 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 <laughs> In the crafting community. Uh -huh. um, and no, I haven't because ah. I couldn't be bothered. It's been too hot, Mike. Ah, okay, fair enough. Sorry. This week, I have an update on returning Sexy Time Show. Oh. And I'm bringing you a story about a way of supercharging your morning breakfast. On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. The TV for our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And remember, you can message or comment while you're there. Breaking news. Bobby Bippy bought a bat. Bobby Bippy bought a ball. Bob banged the ball, banged it bump against the wall, but so boldly Bobby banged it that he burst his rubber ball. Boo! cried Bobby, bad luck ball. Now, to drown his many troubles, Bobby Bippy's blowing bubbles. But Mike, I want to know, how many Skittles can you eat in one go? So you're asking me to put things in my mouth again? Yes, tiny things. It's not for my enjoyment. Mm -hmm. Let's just play. Game of the Week. The producer can't be with us today as he's working on a new fitness DVD. To be honest, I was shocked they still made DVDs and only had to be told what one was. The producer said he was slipping into some stretch lycra and thrusting about to some 90s hardcore while shouting phrases like, come on and you can do it, keep up, just one more big push. And from conversations about his Saturday nights, I think he'll do very well. Oh. This week we are playing Foley Folly and that's a game for Lee. So I'll clap my hands and banish him to our special sound booth. Ooh, that worked. This week's game is our tribute to those highly creative, talented, resourceful, innovative and inspired sound effects engineers who provide the soundscapes for films and television programmes we love. You know the sort of thing, like the sound of disdain that RuPaul makes when she cracks a smile, or the gentle guttering of a Vijay Jay scented candle. Are you ready, Lee? And will you please put that candle out? Ooh! Oh, that's smart. Where, where's my shirt? No idea. Oh, um, I'm, I want that dry cleaned. Okay. Okay. I'm ready right now. So here's the first one for okay. you. <clears throat> All right, mate. Uh, you're looking at probably uh, about three grand for me to uh, do that wall. Uh, another. You're a male prostitute. No. Oh, okay. Um, um, I can bring my brickie in. I can bring me uh, lecky. It... You're a pimp. No. Oh. Um, uh, you know, lots of tea, biscuits, a uh, bit of hardcore porn, just for us to watch. You're a builder. I am. <laughs> Next one. <clears throat> Oh, very, very drunk. I can barely stand on one leg. Um, Boris Johnson. No. no. Um, I, I think I've had too much tequila. Um, and um, I can't stand on my one leg. The other one is folded underneath me and my long neck is very wobbly. A drunk giraffe? No. Um, I hope I don't sick up on my feathers. <laughs> my pink feathers. I give up. A drunk for me, a pissed flamingo. Oh. Shall we move on? Shall we move? Okay. Next one. Mm -hmm. Oh my 
my god i can't believe i'm in such a good mood <gasps> my, my ball is all ready my wheel is going to be spinning around i've got lots of things to eat oh, i'm so happy might eat one of my children later don't know oh okay i don't know what i was going to say i was just fed up you talking Okay, you want me to carry on? I suppose so. Oh, I'm so, I can't wait. I'm going to push all the food into my mouth till my cheeks bulge. <gasps> what a day to be alive. You at Carvery. <laughs> oh, oh, I might I might go to the uh, first level. I might go to the second level. I might just run around in the wheel for like 10 hours, fall off, get back on again. It. <gasps> P.E. at school. You at school? P.E. at school. No. I might sort out the sawdust. Make no, it we've been buzzed. We've got a buzz. Oh. What was it? A happy hamster. Oh. Oh. I've got a hundred of these, but only one of them is giving me trouble. <laughs> is it bitches? <laughs> is it bitches? Yeah. No. Okay. No. Oh, I've, I've, I've got to get somewhere. But oh, it is that that one that that hundredth out of a ninety-nine. Oh, I don't know what I've done to it. I think I'm going to over on it on my ankle. A uh, millipede with a sprained ankle. Oh, not so keen on this. Quite claustrophobic. Um, there's there's. Is it an orgy? No. Um, I, I wasn't. I didn't mind going down the hatch, and then when, <laughs> and then when it submerged. Mmm, not so keen. Where do I sleep? Where can I go? Where's the toilet? Oh, it's quite compact in here. Woo-doo. Woo-doo. What's that noise? Where's that coming from? Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, torpedoes at full blast? Mmm, half blast around here, love. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Please stop. Oh, my God. That is inside a submarine. Oh, right. Okay. <sighs> What, why, why, why were you concerned about where you were sleeping? Because you go to sleep in a submarine. You do, but why was that a concern? Because it's small. It's not that small. Oh, I forgot. Why are you going underwater in your bathtub? Boo-doo. That's the radar. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. Okay, Move let's on. have another one. Oh, uh, do you know what? In that chrysalis, it was absolute murder. But I'm so happy. You're a moth. No. Um, but once I get on that plane and I spread my wings, get into that duty free, oh, that's when it starts. Flower to flower in exotic climbs, sticking me proboscis inside the. Wow. Inside the. holes. Sucking up that sweet, sweet nectar. Oh. Me on holiday. Well, to be fair. A butterfly on holiday. Oh, okay. Kind of the same. So I did say a butterfly of sorts. I said a moth. I know. Next one. I'm not politically correct. <laughs> Our producer. No. <laughs> no. Um, I've got my red cloak here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go handily, handily. Oh, come on. I'm stopping you just because you're doing that wrong. Is it a conquistador? A what? Bullfighter. Yes. Yeah. I mean, don't use your fancy words with me. I don't mean a conquistador, but I also don't mean to do it in, in okay. a Mexican accent. You know? <laughs> okay, let's go for this one. Oh, I pre premature buzzed. <laughs> oh, I think I've eaten too much krill. Oh, I tell. A, wain, a whale. Mm hmm. I haven't finished though. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's been days now and not even a not even a turtle head. Oh I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do to to, oh, to get it moving again. Uh I'm going No no nothing nothing Is it my turn now? Yeah. A whale with constipation. It is Mike! A whale with constipation. I don't know why I couldn't say that before, but alright. Well, thank you for that, Lee. Still to come, we have Crafty Queens. 
But just after the break, we have the endurance challenge that is Lee with the showbiz news. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Let's see what he's stuffed in his duffel bag this week as Lee brings us the showbiz news. Duffel bag? Uh huh. How retro? I would have th assumed you had a, re a, a retro duffel bag. I, think gonna say, I assumed you would have a rectal roll ups. Um, but I <laughs> well, I, I also I those things. I'd expect that too. No. So. Beyonce. Mm, Bianca K. Knowles. Bianca K. Knowles. Uh -huh. She has launched in collaboration with Adidas. Adidas. Adidas, Adidas, whichever way you want to say it. Um, <laughs> say it the right way, thank you very much. <laughs> a swimwear collection. Uh -huh. Okay. So uh, last year, she, in the winter, she released a collection called Icy Park, which we have right. a picture of. Okay. Of, of various accoutrements. Accoutrements. And, um, you know, they, you know they, outfits. Yeah, outfits. Why is it called Ivy Park? Well, I think because one of her kids is called Ivy, uh -huh. and you can wear them if you go to the park. <laughs> I think. Which park? The big park or little park? The Red Wreck. Red Wreck. Mm. I don't know what that is. No. Um, so yeah, so she has. So she's she's relaunched this for for summer, obviously, because okay. that's a good time to wear swimwear. Um, it's inspired by Muscle Beach culture. Ooh. In. Um, LA, you know the Jimmy thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm aware of its work. Yeah, you're aware of its work. Mm -hmm. um, and it's ladies and it's men. It, it's going to be called um, Adidas Times Ivy Park Collection. Okay. So she's not gone beachy. So, yeah. You can... I'm, I'm enjoying some of the swimwear. They don't look very happy, do they? The models, muggles. Model, mu muggles. 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 They don't look very happy. They, they tend to do the mood and like the mean moody. Mean and moody. Look. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Resting it's not just it. swimwear. It's kind of beach wear okay. and stuff. So you There's can... a lot of orange. Well, this is my thought. You can get they start about seventy five dollars for, for a pair of for a Y fronts or something like that. Pair of Y fronts. A pair of Y fronts. Um, <laughs> you can have some accessories. You can have a hat. You can have a towel. You can have a water bottle. You can oh. even have a tote bag. Whatever you want, as long as it's orange. You can have it. Um, so yeah, so we've seen, so it's, so the sizes are, start at extra small, extra small, mm -hmm. and they go up to 4XL. Okay. Which is reasonable size, <laughs> he says. I, start, I, I was once an extra, extra small, 2XL. When you were in the womb? No, no, when I was a very young person. Okay. Now, you mentioned it looks orange. Oh, it is orange. It, it is orange. orange. <laughs> it reminds me orange. of, Orange is the New Black, the television programme. We've got a picture of the of the cast okay. here. Um, do you think? No. No? Fewer men with their muscles out. Well, yeah, but it's all very orange. It's like a sexy version of, of that. <laughs> <laughs> of orange jumpsuits, but you're not in prison, on the beach. Okay. I don't think I'll be buying any. No, neither do I. No, it's first no. expensive. I, I do have some orange swimming shorts. Do you? And they're luminous orange swimming shorts. Oh. But they cost me a fiver. Primarni? No. Charity shop? No. Georget. Georget. Georget, and they're 100% recycled from, oh. from plastic water bottles or something. Like <laughs> from other customers? Yeah, from, from old cum or something, I don't know. Nice. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Um, so, in another show, we spoke about Sex and the City returning. We did. TV show. Mm -hmm. Well, it started filming. Finally. Finally. Yes. So, um, on the internet over the past couple of weeks, Sarah Jessica Parker, uh -huh. SJP, uh -huh. if you're a friend, has been posting pictures <laughs> of them on the set. Uh -huh. So, we've got this is the, the, a picture of a night shoot. So, because okay. obviously it's dark. <laughs> yeah. It tends to be at night. No, no, um, so, no. yeah. As we've discussed in other shows, there's, the character of Samantha isn't going to be in it. Uh -huh. It's the three of them. Um, and basically what they've kind of said is that they've kind of explained why she isn't in it by oh. saying, when you get to kind of 50 years old, mm -hmm. as the characters are now, you probably don't have the same friends that you had 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So when we wouldn't expect her to have the same friends. Okay. 
So that's why she's not in it, because they're not friends anymore. Okay, but also I've got friends that I've had for a long time in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start cutting them out just because I don't like what they said. Oh, is that a dig at, dig at Samantha? It is, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I would have so preferred... Sarah, J Sarah Jessica Parker was obviously in Stay. a nose bag, right, eating her oats because she is a horse. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah. Mm. We've, we've got a picture of all three girls together uh -huh. um, having a little bit of a walk down a street in New York. Ooh. Um, and to be fair, I don't think that's been overly airbrushed, particularly. No, it's They're not. looking quite, quite good. For they, they are looking ladies of a certain age, but they, certain they've age. also got pots of money. So yeah. do I think they had a bit of a freshen up before they started? Oh, filming? without a shadow of a doubt. Of course. Mm. So at the moment, there's no release more date for this. There's more peel on that than there's been an orange. Perhaps they did... All had. Do you remember the episode where Samantha had um, a chemical peel in it? Went uh -huh. hideously wrong. Perhaps they all had that before. And bulldog clips at the back. Of yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no release date as of yet. We don't know when they're going to be released. No, it's filming, and you know, keep your eyes peeled. Oh. Da -da -da. Oh. I sort of did that. Yeah, I did. Now, yes, I re distinctly remember in a, in a previous episode, you admitted that you had a bit of a secret weird celebrity crush on Bobby Norris. From the only way is Essex. Yes. You weirdo. I'm sorry it's not Bono from you too. But Wow, yeah. that's current. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm thinking of someone around your age that you'd have looked up to, you know. I don't know. Um so he so ITV2, mm -hmm. not particularly renowned for doing the most kind of in-depth, meaningful yeah. content. <laughs> yes, it's not um, a documentary channel. No. Um, he is taking part in a new celebrity challenge programme called Apocalypse Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So loads of celebrities. And when I say celebrities, I'm going to go celebrities. celebrities. Okay. Um, yeah. So he is part of this thing. And they have to do kind of like sort of really bizarre tasks to win money for charity. We've got, this is the, the logo for Apoc Apocalypse. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, he signed up to it thinking, oh yeah, it'd be really good. But what he didn't expect that he would have to be wrestling a man in a pool of lube. Why would you not expect that? <laughs> I call that a Saturday. <laughs> Just call that a Friday tea time. So he, so what he, he said is that they, they go into something called the torture dome. See, it's all... It's, yeah, <laughs> it's ticking boxes. It's, it's ticking your boxes. It's ticking boxes. Torture dome, where they have these crazy challenges. Um, we've got a picture of, of him here in the pool of lube uh -huh. with, with a gentleman. So he says, I get, in, I get into Jesus' ring, because that's what... <laughs> That's what the guy's called. Okay. Yeah. I get into Jesus' ring, covered in lube, and he picks me up and spins me round. Okay. okay. He's a wrestler, and I'm not much of a wrestling fan, Bobby Norris. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know nothing about it. That was really strange. I was quite speechless when I managed to escape from Jesus' ring. I don't think as many people can say that. No. No. Um, there's other really bizarre tasks, like in this picture here, he's having to, while his hands are tied behind his back, pick chicken tikka bits out of a toilet. Okay. Hmm. It's presented by Strictly's AJ uh -huh. and Hey Tracy's Donna Preston. I don't know who Hey Tracy is. I don't Tracy know Beaker. Oh, okay. The new Tracy Beaker. Okay, all right. So, yeah, so he says the challenges were so out there. At one point, he had his head down the toilet while trying to pick out pieces of chicken tikka okay. with his teeth. Um, and another one, he had to go head to head with a mermaid to see who can hold the breast along breasts. I've got that challenge sorted. See who could hold the breath the longest. Right, okay. Yeah. Breaths. Breaths. Now, you you have said that you have a bit of a crush on Bobby Norris. I, a bit of a weird guilty, yeah. I so know. he apparently has been through the buff buffinator uh -huh. that celebrities can go into. Yep. So we've got a picture of him here in his swimming trunks pre-buff. And then a picture of him post buff. I don't think that's his body. The, I don't think the one with the, the rope wrapped around it is him. I think it's been photoshopped. Because the picture of him in the lube pool, mm -hmm. he doesn't particularly look like that. But we don't know when the lube pool was filmed. It might have been filmed pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. Oh, OK. And, and now then, he's buffed himself up. And now he's up. buffed himself up. I don't see it. I think it's all a little bit strange. Yeah. Weird stuff. That's, that's fine. I don't. I'm okay Would you like to wrestle him in a pool of lube? Um, I actually prefer to have a go on the wrestler. 
Mm. Perhaps we can get you on that show, Mike. Yeah, please. Uh, I haven't watched any of it, <laughs> surprisingly. It's on ITV2 now. Uh -huh. So go, go. I don't know what the, I'm, I'm taking a, I'm taking a guess. Gemma Collins, probably. Yeah. Gina DeCampo, probably. Um, random so Mel B. <laughs> Mel B. No, she does Celebrity Juice, doesn't she? So does Gina DeCampo. Oh, it's a small pool of celebrities for ITV2. <laughs> probably a number of people from Love Island. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Keith and Dave. That, those kind of people. Yeah. So if that's your bag, Tune in. Okay. That's the end of this week's Showbiz News. Thanks for that, Lee. Always nice to know that something orange isn't just other people's fake tan. Coming up soon, we have our crafty queens. But before that, we have Mike and his buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike and Lee. And now it's time for Mike in the Buzz. You like to go to the gym, don't you, Lee? Clearly. <laughs> I do indeed enjoy a gym membership. <laughs> yes, I enjoy a gym Which membership. Which takes a certain amount of money out of my bank account every month. <laughs> Yet I haven't visited there for quite a while. Well, lockdown stopped you. It did. And now you As can't did go... the two years before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were in pre-lockdown mode. Yeah. Pre I knew it was coming. Yeah, you knew it. I just all thought about... I needed to protect myself. Just, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And since the lockdown's been lifted, you've not been going because you don't want to risk going. I didn't know it'd been lifted. This is a story about a, an MMA fighter who now holds a world record. An MMA fighter? Yes. Is that... MMA? Yeah, MMA. Emma as in the person. No, as in MMA. The... Oh, okay. I'm with you yeah. now. So, MMA. MMA. Yeah. Mixed martial arts. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Not MDMA. No, that's which dance is... music. No, that's not dance music. No, that's... MDMA is not dance music, Lee. EDM is, is dance music. EDM is dance music, yes. Yeah. MDNA is a, is a Madonna album. <laughs> yes, Lee. Anyway, um, he's smashed the world record for the most burpees in an hour. <laughs> Those. <laughs> No, burpees is where you stand up and you jump down and you do like a pushy up thing and jump back. Oh, up. okay. Yeah, it's not burping, because that's what I thought as well. When I'm going, this is amazing as a story. Oh, someone burping for an hour. That's a, no, no. It's someone doing exercise for an hour. Okay, good for him. Yeah, he's on the floor. Is he mid burp? He's mid burp. Burpee. No. Mid burpee. Yeah, because you don't want to make it sound like a burp. No. You've got to call it a burpee. What's the name? Where's it from? What's what its it name? Where's it no, from? No burpee. Where does that come from? Burpee. It, it comes from someone doing a burpee. No. No other story. He didn't die afterwards. Didn't die afterwards. No, he's just, just a good news. Good news story. Oh, good for him. Did some jumping up and down. He did some exercise and won a medal. Yay. Yay. Lovely him. Um, next story is, is about pooches. Pooches. Now, you like a doggy story. I do like a doggy Not story. Not a dogging story. No, a doggy story. Doggy story, story yes. yes. Oh. oh. Telephone. Phone. Hello. <laughs> oh, entomology of the word burpee. That's not involving a tube. Oh, it's from 19-something, an American so psychologist called something burpee. Oh. As, and I don't think that's appropriate as a way to say goodbye, but thank you. Um, yes. OK. So now we know. We know, we know. Yes, so back to dogging. Well, okay. doggies. Doggies. Yes. Um, have you ever looked at your dog and thought, hmm, you remind me of something? Just a gorgeous ball of fluffy love. Gorgeous ball of fluffy love? Yes. <laughs> okay. You're not looking at and gone, you remind me of a Yeti. No. No. She just looks like a dog. Just looks like a dog. Okay. The reason why I ask is because people have been sharing the pictures of their dog. Okay. Whose bottom, bottoms, whose bottoms, whose bottoms look like other things. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, what do you see in your dog's butt is the game. So, shall we play the game? So let's play the game, Let's Mike. play the first one. What do you see in that, that little doggy's bottom? A bonobo monkey. A bonobo monkey, correct. Is that right? That's actually what you can see in that list. I'm just going to add that skill onto my CV. <laughs> I can make out monkey shapes in dog's arses. <laughs> make out pictures in dog's assholes. Yes. Um, and would you like to see another one? Yes. Yes, because you're enjoying I'm this. into this now. 
Oh, I don't know. It's the abominable snowman. Oh, okay, yeah. Now I see that, yes. <laughs> now you, now yeah. you see the Yeti. Now I see it. Now I stop being obscure. Okay, um, food items. Here we go again. You like a food item. If it's nice food, but invariably with you it's not. Name one thing that wasn't tasty. The cat's food, pate. That wasn't cat's food, it was just pate. The um, burger thing that tasted like an old arsehole. Oh, the, spa the Spam and Oreo burger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then all of the others. All of the others. Yes. <laughs> Gave you a lovely cinnamon bun. Um, well, a new craze has started. You've heard about overnight oats. So when you put them in a bowl overnight and then eat them in the morning? Yeah, overnight oats. <laughs> Who was in there? <laughs> oats from overnight. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, a new thing of baked oats is coming. Sounds thrilling. <laughs> And mix them with human feces. Oh, no, not really. yeah, not yeah. really. Um, but yeah, baked oats. Okay. So you, you bake them instead of having them overnight. Wow. Yeah. But adding flavours into it, like Biscoff. Yeah, that's nice. I've got you there now, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, that sounds you're, nice. You're in on that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, baked Biscoff oats are now one of TikTok's latest breakfast crazies. So people are making it in their droves. In their droves. In their droves. Oh. Okay. okay. Now, who am I to neglect you? Biscoff and not cat shit, is it? Had a spoon. You didn't, so you didn't deny or confirm that it wasn't. There you go. Some, some oats. So what have you done with these, Mike? So, talk, so talk me through. I, I have baked some oats. There's a recipe. Would you like to see the recipe? It doesn't look nice, Mike. It doesn't look nice because it's brown food. Brown food never looks nice. Right? So it's 40 grams of oats, protein powder, sweetener. <laughs> Baking powder, yogurt, or banana. You know, have to have yogurt. Okay. Um, almond milk, Biscoff spread, and a biscuit. Now, I've eaten the biscuits. Yes. Because I was making overnight. I was oh, making okay. baked oats, and I went, I'm going to eat the biscuits. So, yeah. Shall we have a try? Go for it, Mike. Are you first? No, I feel... feel I've tried no, this already. I feel it's only polite that if you've made it, you take it. Oh, okay, fine. So, I've got the purple lidded one. That's fine. Mmm. Biscoff is... That's not nice. It is nice. It's Biscoff. Chew and swallow, chew and swallow. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Thank you. It, I don't want it back now you've spat at it. It tastes of Biscoff. It doesn't. It tastes of congealed porridge. With Biscoff in it? No, I wasn't getting the Biscoff there. Wait, wait. I'll put the Biscoff in mine, not in yours, sorry. Oh, well there. Now <laughs> I've just got boiled oats. You've got baked oats, yeah? Yeah, well. I've got a lovely Biscoff flavour in mine. Nice. Do I taste mine? No. That sounds like Fool it. me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. <laughs> Just the other way round. The other way round. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that you can interact with us on social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv and YouTube under Chewing The Cud. And now we go to Story of the Week. Mm. Ooh. Now are you braced yourself? Mm. This is a supermarket story. And we know you get a bit bit on edge about a supermarket story. <laughs> um, and this is a story about five young gentlemen who have been arrested mm -hmm. and charged after an MS bathroom turns into a gay cruising spot. I say. You say what? In Marks and Spencer. In MS, in Marks and Sparks. Oh! Gay cruising spot, dear, in the <laughs> toilets, dear. Oh, where is it, dear? <laughs> Can I get there now? It's <laughs> open. Is it closed, <laughs> dear? <laughs> Why are you calling me dish? <laughs> I'm doing what's his face? Him from Caff and Tate. Okay. Um so yes, it's in Dublin. Okay. Okay. Um on on Mary Street. Oh. What a coinky dink. Yes, um, where Gustavo Vittorio... Oh, that sounds exotic. Exotic, 32, um, pleaded guilty as well. Loving the first degree, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, it, it becomes, it's been going on for months and months and months. Really? Yes. Did nobody like open the... Go, smells like <laughs> in here. <laughs> Give it away. <laughs> Walking into the MS going, No, 
in the changing this, room. Oh, you were in the toilet. No, for it, no, okay. <laughs> for some reason, in some weird fantasy in my head, that I've got them in the changing rooms. Like <laughs> the oh, changing rooms in the M&S food No, bowl. and that changing room smells of <laughs> <laughs> in the toilets. That makes it better. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, I'm going to the M&S food hall. Really? Why? It smells of Oh! <laughs> this, this whole store smells like <laughs> <laughs> As far as I can see. Yes. Um, we're just saying the word a lot now. Yes. Um, so it's been going on for months, and so they're actually under police surveillance because they're going, hang on, what's going on here? You see, I find that a little bit dodgy and a bit seedy. It's like... If you know what, it's the going... police watching you. <laughs> <laughs> if they know it's going on, just going straight in and saying, stop it. Stop it! <laughs> no way, girls and boys. Like they did with George Michael. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not quite what happened there. Um, but basically, they grabbed... He, one of them was caught because they grabbed the bum of a plain-clothed police officer. Again, I find this all a bit... So the police officers go in... Oh, was the police officer going in to pretend... To be a, a somebody to, who wanted a bit of, how's your father? <laughs> and then when one of them went and squeezed his bomb, he was, I'm having you, I'm a police officer. Is that what happened? And then he bent over and went, yes! <laughs> <laughs> um, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Um, the police officer's bottom was grabbed. Mm. And I went, oh, what's going on in here then? Please don't do that. And then, oh, look, people are having hanky-panky in the bathroom stalls. <laughs> But yeah, just have sex at home. Yeah. Or in or your in next, door, next door neighbour's hot tub when they're away, that sort of thing. <laughs> You're worried about your hot tub now, aren't you? Nobody's having sex in my hot tub. Not even you. Not even but that's me. that's the end of the <laughs> buzz this <laughs> week. <laughs> that's not a euphemism, that's a, that's a genuine fact. Nobody is. Well, thanks, Mike. I'm going to just book my flight over to Dublin. But stay tuned, because coming up next, we have Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we're going to do something crafty. And it's not craft beer, hovercraft, or craft work, the 1980s German electro synth pop ensemble. It's Crafty Queens. Indeed, it is Crafty Queens. I, I'm, what do you think of my crafting tabard, Mike? I think it's unique and special and wonderful and very different. It, indeed. Didn't say it was nice. <laughs> if, you, if you're going to be doing craftiness, you need a tabard. Yes, I believe you that do. is the rule. You yes, do. If you're going to be crafty, wear a tabard. Yeah, that's the rules. So, Mike, this show, mm. many memories. There are. Some, some good, some bad. <laughs> some mediocre. But we're not going to focus on those ones today. We're going to focus on the good ones. And we're going we're gonna, to contain them in a jar so that whenever we look at them we can bring back that memory of goodness good could, times could we not just rewatch the show you could do but that's a lot of faffing with you know vhs 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 so they're just on our just on our website or on our youtube yeah. just like chewing the cud but you know if that was the case there would be no no need for this section <laughs> and i could go home but i can't so we're gonna do it <laughs> so mike before you you have a you have a jar with a lid. I have a medium yep. jar. Yes. Um, you have you have a, a selection of coloured chalks. Uh, is it? Uh huh. You do. Okay. Ooh. You have some um, pre-folded um, papillon. Yes, high high thickness too. Yeah, well, it needs to be. And you've got a tub of salt. Yes, for killing every day. Soaps. Table salt. Yes. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to, by the magic of craft, we are going to turn these ingredients into a beautiful memory jar. Okay. Um, so what is a memory jar, Lee? It's what it's, it's what it says, Mike. It's a memory jar. It's a jar full of memories. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. We're going to colour. We're going <laughs> to memory jar. Memory jar. Memory jar. Jar, jar of memory memories. Jar. We're going to we're going to colour salt in in different colours and then pour into layers, memory layers, oh. and then we're going to put it on the shelf 
Oh. To gather dust. Oh, okay. Like my career. So, <laughs> we, first of all, we've, we've, <laughs> we've got to identify four memories each that particularly mean something. Okay, so are you going, which one are you going to choose firstly? So, I'm going to go for Fruit of the Week. I'm thinking of our first, that science that is, where we made the standard poo. Oh, the standard poo. Okay, so what I want you to do, Mike, is have a look at the selection of, of chalks that I have given you. Mm -hmm. And choose a colour that feels best represents that memory of making the turd. The brown one. Oh, what a coinky dink. Okay, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose... Hmm... Um, a pink, a ready, ready colour for, ready for, for... Okay. So, what you need to do is get, get your thing of salt. My thing of salt? Yeah. And in the middle of one of your pieces of paper... Uh-huh. Yeah. Pour, you know, a decent amount of salt into a little pile. Okay. okay. And put a little bit more. Don't be, don't be stingy. A bit more. Don't be stingy, okay. There, stop. Now, taking your chalk mm -hmm. of your colour for your first thing, you're gonna yeah. just colour in that salt. So round and round and round. You can be quite hef you can be quite heavy with your hands. Okay. Because you know, don't be shy. And give it a real mashing. Okay. And you will see the pigment from yeah. the chalk mm -hmm. colouring in the salt. Oh. What so you might have to do. Is every every so often, sort of lift the paper up to bring it back together again. Okay. Um, and when you're ha then when you're happy with the colour, you stop. Okay. So right while now. while we do this, should we watch some of our, some of those clips? Why not? Yeah. It smells like parking. It smells like parking. Yeah. You know. You know parking. Parking. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> got a got a rosy a rosy pink. Are you happy okay. with your brown? Um, I've got I've got brownish, yeah. Okay. Ish. Ish. It's brownish, yeah. Okay. So then what you do is just pop the lid back from your mason jar. I've pulled uh, it back. Right. You need to put that on the table. Okay. Okay. And pick up your piece of paper, mm -hmm. making sure that the chalk is all in the middle. Okay. And then pour it. Into you done that, Mike? I'm doing it. Okay. Now your first layer, mm. you can jiggle it around a little bit to get it even. You can't okay. do that on other layers. Okay. And so does it need to be even, or can it be at fun angles? If you want it to be at fun angles, you can do it at fun angles. I, I want it to be at fun angles. Yeah. I prefer mine to be straight. Yeah. Only area in my life that is. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's your first layer. Yay. But yours is representing when you, we made turd, and mine is representing... It's a standard poo, not Standard a poo. Yeah. And mine is representing um, fruit of the week. Yeah. So, we repeat this process for four more times. So, what would be your second? Hmm, that'd have to be the time you brought in awful shit Lego. I'm gonna go for, hard to believe, mm -hmm. but when things go wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so we're doing the same thing again with same the... thing. Pour your salt oh, yeah. in the middle. Um, I'm gonna go for. Um, I'm going blue. You're going blue. I'm gonna go for orange. I'm going blue. Mm. I think it's orange. the same thing again, do we? Yeah. Or is it brown? I think it's brown. My. So yeah, same thing again. Okay. So while while we're colouring in salt. Thirty-eight. Why am I colouring in salt? Let's let's watch the. Um, the things that go wrong. Oh, pardon. I was trying not to bend over. Did you fart? I did. It's not craft beer, hovercraft, or craft work. The 19 German, 19 Germans. 19 Germans, ooh. While we're finishing off this layer, shall we have a look at that time that I made you make shit Lego? You know, you, I'm gonna get, I would give you a prize for most looking like it is. Mm -hmm. I would give me a prize for imagination and creation. Okay. So, how are we doing? I've, so I've, I've, got, I've got a powder blue effect. I've got, yeah, I've got a little pile of coffee au lait colour. Oh. Um, I'm gonna pour that, so yeah, just pour it in again. Try okay. not to mix it up. Try not to mix it up, okay. Because you want a layer. 
Okay, I'm going for a layer. Oh, lovely. Oh, look at them memories stacking up, Mike. I know. <sighs> Beautiful. Um, so, we're halfway there, Mike. Doesn't oh, feel like it, but we're halfway there. We're halfway there. It's we're going to go on to our third memory. All right. And what's your third memory? My third memory has to be the, sc the electric scooter debacle in the um, car park where I nearly lost my life, I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> you lost, yeah, I know. Um, mine's going to have to be your bird obsession. Oh. What's my bird obsession, Mike? Well, it's like we had a, a string of life lessons that were all about birds. We did. Get the salt ready. I'm going to give, I'm going to give scooters blue. Oh, lovely. I'm going to colour green back side bird I obsession. Home. And while we do colouring in salt again, should we watch the scooters? Yes. Are you ready to race, bitch? Don't call me that. But yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. So, we've had a look at the scooters, which was hilarious. Shall we now have a little look at my apparent bird obsession? Care for the birds, Mike? The birds, the little baby birds. The birds with the feathers and the with flying. The flying. Yes, I do. Do I, you? I leave my nuts out for the birds. Do you? I do, yes. They peck at your nuts. They do love my nuts, the How birds. Oh, lovely. Yes. Shall we make... Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Quite a lot of blue there for me. How's yours looking, Mike? Shite. Shite. That's what I like to hear. So, final layer. What are you going to go for? I think the last one will have to be the time during lockdown, the first time, when we made fruit dog carving. So, oh. um, would you by any chance have what I like to refer to as yellow tree penises? <laughs> <laughs> Or a yes. banana. <laughs> yes, banana milkshake. Oh, no. Again, I think I'm going to go for a lockdown one where we made that, that nourishing and youthening avocado face scrub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mash them on. Use the liquid <laughs> to, a, to, to, <laughs> to, to adhere. adhere the bits of, <laughs> of, of oh. avocado to your face. <laughs> so we've got the last... You colour, you've coloured your last pile in. Yep. Okay, pop it in. And you want that? Oh, and if you've done it, if you've done it right, Mike, that should go right to the very top. So put the lid on, click it down. Okay. And there you go. You've got a beautiful jar of memories. Oh, thanks for that, Lee. If you can't get any peen, be a crafty queen. <laughs>